The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, um, March 26th. If you give me a chance, I'll figure out the date. But uh, what I do know is this is the Fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead. Send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject hitting, please put radio show question in. And our Tigers then will. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, uh, all the indices, hard to believe this, first time all week, maybe even first time last week, but all the indices are trading to the upside. The Dow's up 268, S&P 35, NASDAQ 75, Russell's up 23, semis are up 95. That's the big mover out there. Trainees, they've been moving for the last several days. They're up 255 points. They're up 14,532. They're in all-out bullish mode out there. In fact, why don't we just take a look at the indices out here? Let, let's do that. Let me change screens here. Just a uh, we can just do a, almost a snapshot. I can't get every indice on one screen, but we can get a lot of them. So let me do that. Let me stop this. Let me start that. Let's get down to this page. And now you're going to see an eight panel. You should see eight panels out here. The only thing that's mix, missing from this as far as the indices would be the Wilshire 5000 and the Spot Volatunix. So now you've got in the upper left-hand corner, you've got your Dow Jones cash indice. Oftentimes, most of the time, we spend time looking at the um, equity futures contracts because they're providing us with better pattern information. But nonetheless, what the Dow Jones Industrial Average is telling you right now is a close above 32. Well, let's just expand it out. Let me get my cursor over here. See what that is. Oh, I can't see it. Maybe if I do it this way. Nope. Okay, I got another way. I'm just trying to give you the number to watch. In essence, at the close, 32,827. So 32,827, a close above that puts the Dow back into a neutral position. Now, neutral, because it has a valid TD9 top. The reason that it would be neutral, that's your sell signal. Your buy signal, in essence, is closing above a green oscillator and change line. It tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. And, folks, it doesn't get much, much more bullish than that with regard to technical indicators. So watch that from the close, but the Dow, and now what that would suggest is that either a further retracement, a further rally, uh, back to the highs, you know, something along those lines. The S&P, you can see, is also right now just trading above its oscillator and change line, so that would, gender the same, that would generate the same kind of signal. 3930, call it 3939 inside the S&P, it closes above that, says, okay, neutral, maybe back to the highs, but certainly not bearish as the uh, signal. The NDX 100, a whole different animal. You can see it's uh, not well aware, uh, not well below, but it is below its oscillator and change line, which is at 12,899. You're at 12,857. It could clear that in a heartbeat. Russell 2000, that's the weak link out here. It's got a long way to go before it can regain its bullish. Uh, NIST. That doesn't mean there's not more rally left in it. It's just it's trading well below its oscillator and change line at 2264. 
The semis, you can see the semis, same condition out here. Uh, they have a valid erosement indicator top that took price down to breakout support. Now price is trying to get above 3018. Well, it is above it, but it's trying to close above 3018, which would at least say, hey, I go back to the prior highs out here. Those prior highs are in about the 3130-ish type level. If you take a look at the transports, panel two on the bottom from the uh, left, new all-time high, uh, taking out resistance of erosion and indicator signal. Price is still stretching, but you would need a new bearish reversal signal out here. So the transports, and I'm not a Dow theory person, which means I've never studied the Dow theory, gone back, taken a look at it. You know, is it still valid today? Maybe somebody in the Danny is out there, but man, that, uh, so if you are in the Danny, you know, what's that say about the transports here and then the uh, Dow? I don't know the answer to that, but maybe somebody else does. NASDAQ Composite, still bearish looking, bearish from the standpoint, trading below red oscillator and change line. So the work inside the NASDAQ to the downside may not be done out here. And the New York Stock Exchange, it's working off an oversold condition. It's doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, it's targeting 15606. So that's what the indices look like. Now we can uh, move back to my other screens out here and take a look at some other pertinent information. Other pertinent information, yesterday we had a call not a call but we had a request from um, tom g who was uh, taking a long position in tna now i don't know if tom is still in that position or not the advice given during that uh, segment if you were listening was to stay with that trade and certainly the russell 2000 continued to take off topside the reason that i bring this up for tom and casey his listening is hey tom You've got a new profile that's attempting to form. Now, this profile has shifted a couple different times in the morning, but it really tells me that it is really attempting to form a new profile. Now, the support level, I believe that has stayed the same at 2167. So if all things go you know, sour at the end of the day, I don't see that. But, but we are going to look at a potential short-term top that could form in the next 17 minutes or so not to be specific or anything but i am being specific so the russell 2000 by the way the resistance area on a continued move higher 2267 to 2317 out there no other information really inside the profile land out here other than the dow is back inside uh, its profile it did that yesterday same with the es mini out here i mentioned that the spot volatility not i sorry i mentioned that new york stock exchange was working up an oversold condition here's that oversold condition you can see that the advanced decline oscillator now that's a difference that's taking a look at that's the advanced decline line turning it into an oscillator it's looking at the difference between the 39 and 19 day exponential moving average that's what then creates our summation index which is the next panel if the uh, advanced decline oscillator is above zero the zero threshold level that line turns green tells you it's a bullish signal now it, it, we might get there today there is a caveat that caveat out there is day one above a resistance level doesn't mean you've got a change in trend. Two consecutive days, a whole different story. But in essence, what the New York Stock Exchange has been able to do in almost one session, and that's today, but really two, um, is uh, work off that complete oversold condition out there. Man, that is uh, strength. Uh, spot volatility, I had mentioned that. That's well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That currently is printing at 2268. And the spot volatility is at 1887. Those are bullish conditions for the uh, S&P 500 or the ES Mini out there. Uh, but again, the ES Mini has resistance at about the 3946 area. And that's going to take us into the uh, potential top that's going to form in 16 minutes. Can Stevie squeeze it in? The answer is I can. But you're going to have to wait until we get back from this break. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We've got the uh, all the U.S. indices trading higher. The Dow 241, the S&P 32, NASDAQ 183, and the Russell 2000, 21 points. We'd love to hear from you. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So, one eighteen in the afternoon, and we think by about uh, one thirty, we may see a short-term top inside the at least the ES mini. You're looking at our intraday charts: ten minute at the top, thirty minute at the bottom. Um, if you look at the ES mini, you'll see that as we came to the one o'clock time frame, that was bar number nine of a TD nine count. We've made, I believe, we've made a slightly higher high on this bar, and so whatever the high of this session, the one thirty. I'm sorry, the 1 to 130 session for the ES Mini. That's going to be, be an important high to watch. Why? Because if price is able to close above that high, one, that's going to tell you about a strong momentum move to the upside. So forget the idea of a pullback. But right now, you've got the pattern that says, okay, we should see at least some type of short-term pullback. Now, that pullback should take us down to the oscillator and change line, to, and then that's in the 39.25 level. If you look above that, you'll see the 10-minute chart also happens to have a TD9 count. So we've got a, uh, we've got a, uh, uh, a double uh, going here, and uh, so strong signal, but, let's, but likewise, the cool thing about this signal, it's easy to take the trade. And it's easy to close out the trade because if you close above that high, close above that high, it negates the pattern. If you take a look at the NQ, you also see a valid on a 10 minute basis, a TD nine count and bar number nine is forming right now. So the NQ and the ES are off by a half hour. The NQ's top short term top could form between 130 and two. And again, the same program. Take a look at whatever the high is. Um, which right now is the one, the twelve, the twelve thirty to one o'clock bar. But so you know between twelve thirty and one and two o'clock, whatever the high is, that's the key high that you're going to pay attention to. Now the Dow doesn't have a TD nine cone, but it does have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So if the ES and the NQ decide to start moving lower, they should be able to take the Dow. That should be able to confirm that pattern to give us a short term top. 
The uh, Russell 2000 already has a short-term topping signal in it. And prices below the oscillator and change line, it should target 2190. So that's how I came up with the uh, uh, during the opening segment that we should, and even during the uh, one o'clock update, that we should see a short-term top. It's just simply based upon these signals that are out there. It's easy peasy stuff. Now let's send the short term time frame. So that just took a lot of noise there. And we could look at the larger term time frame. Let's look at the uh, well, I think we already did that. We looked at profile. So you don't need me to do that. Instead, what you're asking me to do is go to some of the questions, Steve. -O. All right. Since you asked, let's go do that. First question coming in from the Tigers Den. I apologize. I, I just wrote it down. I didn't really pay attention. Oh, Satish, who was the one that was re making the request for uh, ticker symbols. J I. Nope, it's not. Take that back. It's J M. I A. It's J Miami. It really, it's Jumia Technologies. I don't. I think the question was along, looking for a long or something like that. Uh, maybe a point of entry. So, here's where we're at. Boy, price is below the bottom of its daily profile, Satish, and below the bottom of its weekly profile. So that's really never good. And we're going to go look for some patterns out here. On a weekly basis, price is pushing into a swing point that had volume of 38 million shares with 39 million shares, and it hasn't gotten down to test that. So the the what the meaning there is on a weekly basis, Satish, is that price should get down and test that low, 31.42. So 31.42 could be an entry point for you. That could be an aggressive entry point. It would be it would be a better entry point if it tests that level on a daily basis and does it with less than 11.6 million shares. So that's what that would be ideally what you're looking for out here, and that's what I would wait. At this moment in time, take a look at the how this how this is trading. Look, if it takes out that low, uh, 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 J Miami uh, could make its way all the way back down to zero. Now, I'm not just saying zero. Actually, it would be could set up a very large A to B equals CD to the downside. So maybe it won't get to zero, but let's see where it would get to. Now we're not calling this pattern here just yet. Why? Because it hasn't taken out the B point. But you know, you got to take a look at every trade. You should be taking a look at both sides of the uh, trade and try to figure out which one is the more likely outcome. Here on an A to B equals CD to downside, Satish, you're looking at 1383 to 337 out there. Now let's pull over my other charts, see if there's any other signals out here. And voila, there is. So this is a beautiful thing. You can see that on uh, uh, J Miami, a price is pushing lower with less relative energy. That was a signal that was triggered yesterday. We look further back on the left-hand side of the chart, that low that we talked about in the weekly, that matches up with the low of that hammer candle on the daily. So, boy, that would be a wonderful test and rejection on lighter volume. What would be even better for you is to get a confirmation of the Rhodes Mintum indicator pattern. And what you need to see there is a bullish reversal candle. So I'm going to suggest that you be patient. You've got a couple of different outcomes. If it does push lower, which the weekly is saying it should, you're looking for a test of that hammer candle and rejection. That's one. That's a, an aggressive entry. The um, more conservative entry is to wait for confirmation by the uh, cavalry. Those are the bulls out there. And you'll see that confirmation generated with a bullish reversal candle. So I hope that helps you out, and best of luck to you on uh, Jumia Technologies, ticker symbol J-M-I-A. The uh, next request is, let's see here, this one coming in by email. And this is going to be, I think it's Sorrento Therapeutics, S S R shoot, S R. hey, that's my initials, S R. S R S R what S R N E. Okay, so I'm going to get that fired up on my white background charts out here. And the question from Mike is, oh, I know there's one more that I want to do. What, which one was that? I'll figure it out. There was a request that came in yesterday that I overlooked, which I'm really sorry for doing that. Uh, but Sorrento Therapeutics near any significant support level, considering the long position, Mike in New Hampshire. So Mike, uh, the answer to your question is no. Nowhere near a support level. Nowhere, let me restate that. Nowhere near a TAS market support level. Well below the daily, the bottom there was 954. Well below the weekly, the bottom there was 1191. The next level of support or area of support from a profile standpoint comes from our monthly charts, Mike. And that uh, is in the price range of 512 to 690. Now, price did form a hammer candle back here in the trading day of March the 5th. And that had 16 million shares. You're pushing down today with light volume. You've got 4.2 million shares. Yesterday, the push lower was with uh, 10 million shares. So it was pushing. Well, it's still lighter volume. It was still lighter volume. Hmm. Okay, let's see if there's any other bottoming signal. Mike in New Hampshire. Today should become bar number eight of a TD9 count. 
the low bar so far is bar seven. So we don't have any type of confirmed TD9 count pattern. You need to see a lower bar. That's today or Monday, which would be bar number nine, or Tuesday, the bar following bar number nine. If you got that and this hammer candle forms, uh, then you could go ahead and take a trade. And in fact, you, you probably should take a trade on a Sorrento Therapeutics out there. So that would be the pattern that you're looking for. To get the nine count and you close below the hammer candle, um, then what you're going to do is, you're, oh, wow, the 30-minute chart is gone here. Stevie somehow accidentally erased it, but uh, we can add that back in, S-R-N-E. And I'd really like to look at the 30-minute chart for you. So if you give me just a moment here, we'll go ahead and get that uh, rolling minute right there. 30, we probably need about 30 days worth of data out here. Let's go to one of our templates that's got this, makes that easier. So here's going to come the 30-minute chart. And then I just need to change this signal up here to orange. And then we're good. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come down to a short-term time frame chart like a 30-minute, like we are here. And you're going to look for some type of bottoming signal and for price to take out a resistance level. Well, we're not there yet. So let's take a look at this again next week. Uh, maybe it's on a Monday or Tuesday. And that is uh, Sorrento Therapeutics, S-R-N-E. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 236, S&P 34 points. Uh, yesterday, a request came in that I didn't get to. Hope the... Uh, 
uh, individual is listening right now, it was to take a look at uh, Genius Brands International. G N U S is the uh, ticker symbol. And so as we take a look at it, and I, I apologize, I don't remember what the request was, uh, but I did want to at least cover what the stock is doing. Now, what we can see is that today there's a brand new profile that is formed. It's fairly wide. Now, when I say fairly wide, it goes from 228 to 302. So percentage-wise, I don't know, that's like a 40% swing, something like that. I, I, I'm sure I'm off on that. I was just a quick uh, look at it. Uh, so it's a fairly wide uh, range out here. If this did pull back to 228, that might be worth a, uh, a trade on here. Right now, price is sitting at the fair market value of that range, right at the center of the profile, which is 252. You're sitting at 250. I'm sorry. It is the center is 259. It's 259, and you're sitting at 259. You got to love that. Yeah, so it's sitting right there. Uh, so that's not providing us with a ton of information. Let's take a look at the Genius Bar. And uh, the Genius, the G-N-U-S is the ticker symbol out here. 30-minute chart shows a Rhodes momentum indicator top that took price all the way back to its TD9 breakout level, formed a nice little hammer candle right around the 236 area, and it did that yesterday. So right now what it's dealing with here on a 30-minute basis is the resistance as well, trading with inside its 30-minute uh, profile of 254 to 265. So it's really kind of stuck in the mud out there. On a weekly basis, what do I have? Do I have anything? The weekly chart suggests that this wants to make a run for 395 over time, and the uh, daily is bullish. The daily is bullish out here. Uh, so instead of getting down to 228, to the extent you're looking for an entry point here, a pullback to 247, you're 258 right now. That would be uh, an area that you would be looking at, and you'd be looking for price to get up in that 302 range. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for waiting an extra day to take a look at uh, GNUS. Let's go out to uh, uh, Martinez, California, and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm oh, doing great, Steve. Appreciate you taking the call. I hope you're doing well. I am. My pleasure. And Nordic American tanker is a big move today. I don't you think that's because of the uh, Suez Canal or anything along those lines? Or I think so. Yeah, that has something to do with it. Um, I, yeah. I noticed quite a few in that sector doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. How can I help you here? Oh, I just wanted your thoughts on it. I'm not in it at this moment, and it's honestly not generally an area that I would be buying something, but I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. Yeah. So right now it's dealing with a swing point from February 16th that has a high of 389. You're trading at 386, and that had volume of 7.6 million shares. Already today you're at 12,481. So even if this closes back below 389, it will at least go back and test the 389 level. So that's the first thing that I notice in taking a look at it. If it closes over 389, then it actually is setting up a potential A to B, not a potential, it's setting up an A to B equals CD to the upside on its daily time frame. That A to B equals CD to the upside would look like this. Your A point would be, I would use the low January 20, oops, i got to restart that. I'd use the low, not the high, and my fat fingers chose the high. So let's try that again, the low. Uh, and then the high we're going to use is that February 16th, session and then the uh, c point of the a to b equals cd is the low of february 26. Uh, interestingly enough the one to one is not that far away from its high today which is 409 but i would say if it closes above the uh 389 level 440 is more likely the next target to the upside so that's a daily time frame weekly or above profiles and monthly says 456 is the price target so that's what the profiles communicate to us the daily time frame shows that price is stretched. It's got a uh, Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's been triggered, but it needs a bearish reversal signal to confirm that top, so we know that play. There's another level of resistance, so this is all kind of lining up. Why did it stop where it did? Well, it's got that TD9 count resistance at 396, so it's really trading into a resistance zone. So if it can bust out above that, close above that, that really sets up that A to B equals C to the upside and, and probably larger than the one-to-one -one price projection out there. Uh, weekly time frame don't have anything additional here. 452 is what I have as the next level of resistance. So to the extent that you wanted to get into this position here, it has a TD9 count pattern on a 30-minute basis. And since then, price has pulled back. Right now, that pullback has taken us to the center of its profile at 384. So if you were going to trade this to the upside on momentum move, your entry point would be somewhere between 377 and the 384, and you're trading at 388 right now. 
an ultimate buy would be 364. But I don't have anything in the charts to suggest that that is what's going to unfold out there. Does that help you, Brent? Or what additional questions do you have about uh, Nordic American tankers that I might be able to figure out? No, that does. That's really what I was looking to to get you know out of you know potentially have you looking at it. Okay. Um, the only other thing I did notice that there was a, a period about a year ago, you know, back in April where it got up to eight dollars, and that's never been tested. And I think it had some decent volume up there, but other than that, I'm just not sure that there's enough in the trade to really make it worthwhile, honestly. So I just right, right, um, right. Yeah, it's, it yeah, seems I just, to. Again, uh, I don't it, normally buy stuff when it's up at these levels and kind of chasing things and and also when there's not that much more potentially in it i mean it could be but it just seems like the the risk reward is not necessarily there well that that is except until you brought out the uh eight dollar and three or nine dollar uh spike back on april the 28th out there and that is a high volume high so it will eventually or should eventually get tested out there um but i hear you i hear you it, it doesn't really fit your normal um, uh, buy uh, type patterns out there. But for somebody that did want to go ahead and trade this, um, you know, some type of momentum move, that 30 minute chart was really the one that's giving you that opportunity to, whoops, that's the wrong chart out there. It, it's really the 30 minute chart that's giving you that opportunity to possibly get in. So, um, Brent, always good to hear from you and uh, have yourself a great weekend. And we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Yeah, it was great talking with you, Steve. Just have a great weekend. Take care. You you bet. That was Brent in Martinez, California, and we were just looking at Nordic American tankers. Ticker symbol there was NAT. David H. writes in, and uh, hey, God, folks, you like that TD9 count out there? We can sit here on a live show and. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give away that trade of a lifetime for you. But it's going to be a great one, folks. So, uh, you know, back up the truck and uh, put all the uh, cash on that one. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll go to one of our callers out here. And, uh, and that's what we're going to do. See you in a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So we're going to go to a caller out there. Mark, is it Mark? Yeah, Mark in New Hampshire. Uh, thank you so much for holding. And uh, how are you today? Uh, I'm doing awesome. Um, my middle name is Steve, and I like the roadmap you've drawn for us. Well, thank you. <laughs> I mean, S&P Market Timer, the year award, should be given every year to Steve Rose. Well, no, 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 no. And they're not around anymore. But, uh, you know, I just got lucky a couple of years. That's all. Well, no, you know, the way I look at it, you're a Rhodes Scholar when it comes to the stock market. You know, uh, we're all just students of this market, continuously learning. And that's the uh, cool thing about, really, I think the coolest thing about being involved with the markets is there's always something to learn. There's always new pieces of information to learn out there. And, and, and what it does is it just gets like a puzzle. And I'm not much for like a crossword puzzle or, you know, the, the, the traditional kind of puzzles. But the stock market puzzle truly intrigues me. And uh, so it, it just keeps the mind going. It's something you can do forever out there. So it, yep. it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, as uh, Tom likes to say out there. And really, I, I owe it all to Tom. He is the one that got me involved with. Now, he's always involved with the stock market, but by trade, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a CPA. And I'm not on practice as a CPA, but I'm, I'm a dean comforter, basically. And awesome. um, uh, But I just heard Tom... Uh, for about five minutes on the radio, and I immediately signed up for his Master Trader course. And from there forward, you know, I've just been uh, going at this full time. But anyway, uh, let's go to uh, what you would like to talk about, which is China Petroleum and Chemical Corp. The ticker symbol there is SNP. And how can I help you? What are you doing there, Mark? Actually, I got it. I was actually looking to look at the spies because I was trying to figure out if it's That's already right. made a high and, Perfect. It's, you know, ABC up or ABC down? Yeah, this is a so the I can pull up the spy for you, and I've got that up on my screen. So the extent that you're looking at, it, I'll just tell you the message coming from us for the spy is from a profile standpoint. Prices above the top of the daily that bullish prices above the top of the weekly that means it's bullish and prices above the top of the monthly so that means it's bullish from that standpoint now the es mini and i'm going to pull that over and we're going to take a look at that instead is that okay yeah that's perfect okay so we're going to take a look at the es mini and we're going to punch up the daily time frame and here we can see a different scenario slightly different scenario one uh, well, what we do see here is you've got a top that's in place. 
And that's the Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And until that yep. gets taken out, that that's a top. It's a valid top. And so that's the trading day that you're looking at there. It's going to be March 18th. Not until that high gets taken out can we say that it really enters that full-out bullish mode again. We see that the ES Mini has made its way up to the oscillator and change line. That's that green line out there. Now, this is the area where a counter trend rally should end. So, Mark, we've got a bearish signal. You've got the place where a counter trend rally would end. And those people that want to go ahead and take a short position into the weekend, this is the time. Now is the time right now. In fact, the time was yeah. about uh, 15 minutes ago when we were saying it looks like the ES Mini is going to form a short term top, um, you know, which has gone ahead and done. I'm not suggesting that people go out and take this short but i'm trying to really come back to your question which is kind of like is this a buy is this a sell and it's really somewhat but, neutral right now i, I wish i could well, I own the S S P X S, and you know i'm just trying to figure out what i should do with this trade essentially I call so you. is that the short position yeah um, so you, you got in the short position and you had a reason to get in that short position. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, you, it's, you know, like you said, it's neutral, but the way I look at it, bull markets end at some point when people don't expect it. Yeah. So. But I, so and here's you know, what I, the thing is, I just, I mean, I'm, you know, I like riding the golden bull, but sometimes market gives you signals to go short well let's do this for you what, what i can do for you is from a pattern standpoint if you see the es mini close today yep. above 39.30 and right now it's at 39.22 if it closes above 39.30 i would hesitate on taking that short position into the weekend if it closes nope. below 39.30 um, there's absolute justification for it. So you had justification to get in on the trade. And I'm saying that I don't know what that was, but regardless of what that was, because I've got the top, because price has made its way back to where that counter trend rally should end, um, I would stay in it. But if it closed above 39.30, then that would say, you know what, you could see this uh, take off and get all the way back up to those highs, maybe even take them yeah, out. So I'm in a, a profitable position, so maybe... It, I'll just use what the indicators you gave me, and the, you know, I can always sell off a half position if I want. You know, I'll watch this market to the close. Look, le le lesson number one that Tom gives to almost everybody. Lesson number one is there's never anything wrong with taking a profit. That's it. Never. You get to, you know, you get to, and that's the beauty of this. That's really the beauty of this uh, versus like Vegas or something. You choose when you take the money off the table and you come right back in Sunday night if you wanted to. Yeah. You know, so Tom, I listened to Tom for 21 years and uh, I heard him while on the way to the dog track at Derby Lane. And it's so hilarious. Um, well, so that's, that's funny. That's so high. we have a similar story. We have a similar story. Yep. I mean, awesome. you're were, you were, you were going to the dog track. I was going to the golf course. Uh, well, you know, I was in, I used to live in St. Pete. And, you oh, know, cool. I was on the way to Derby Lane one night. And I heard him on, I don't know, AM radio. And I was like, sure. this guy's from Boston. What's he doing here in Florida? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank God. Tom is the guy. He is the Hotel California. He's the one that's brought us all together. So, uh, hey, I best know, of luck awesome. to you. Mark, with this uh, trade out there, uh, you've kind of got my parameters out there. But uh, don't forget, uh, Tom, the guy who brought you together, there's nothing wrong with taking that uh, ball and going home because you can always come back like to the it. beach on Sunday. Okay? I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Steve. You Where are you? My, <laughs> my pleasure. That was uh, Mark from... Um, from up north. So let's go to our next question. We're going to try to squeeze a couple of these in. Uh, David wants to take a look at XOP. So let me get that rolling on my white background charts as well as the black background charts. And uh, XOP. And the question is, I'm looking for a buy point in XOP. Can you give me a good guess at an entry point? So if you're looking for a good entry point right now might be it but we're going to come back to it the only reason i say that is because it has regained the bottom of that daily profile and that is at uh, 8156 or at 8184 right now so that's a possibility but um 
let's look at the chart and see what other information we have out here. And we're looking at the XOP. So when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, we see wave number seven, that's letter G. And we see that price actually, I'm going to say, no, hold on. Hold. Well, yeah, I'm going to still say hold on. David, if price closed below 82.99 today, your entry point might be 75.55. So that's what we're going to go with as we speak. 75.55 would be your entry point till we see something else. Steve Roach with TFNN will be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com. Then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So on XOP, on the weekly basis, it has a TD9 count top as well. Now, price has pulled back, and it's tested a key level of support of 77.78. And so it's really neutral on the weekly uh, basis out here. And 82.99 was a TD9 breakout level in the daily time frame. So as long as price doesn't close above that, that's why I suggest that, uh, David, you just be a little bit patient on this. Let's come back, maybe take a look at it on Monday or Tuesday out there. The last question. Uh, that we're going to have time for comes in from um, Sylvia, I believe. Uh, oh, boy, this is a long question. Sylvia, you're not going to be able to read the question, but you're asking about Home Depot, I think. So let me just pull up Home Depot 
And if your question requires me to respond by email or something like that, I will. So we take a look at Home Depot. Big, huge run. Uh, this is uh, negated, never even stopped in that TD9 count pattern. So there's the beautiful thing, much like we took a look at when we looked at the ES Mini earlier. Here you've got the TD9 count. Price closes above bar number one in two sessions. Strong momentum move to the upside. So this wants to continue to move higher and has taken out a TD9 breakdown level. On a weekly basis, uh, this is uh, suggesting that it wants to move higher doesn't give us a price point here at all-time highs just simply wants to continue to move higher out here so we don't see any kind of a topping signal with the come when it comes to uh, home depot uh sylvia it looks like i might have a little bit more so you're saying see that where does it uh, where does that fit in here so you're asking about that td9 count where that fits in where it fits in is you're going to become bar number five today if a td9 count is going to identify the top that says you have um three to five more sessions so that means Wednesday through Friday of next week before we would see that pattern, potentially see that pattern when it comes to taking a look at the charts for Home Depot. So, folks, thanks so much for uh, being here this week. As always, stay tuned for two more great hours and uh, have a uh, fabulous weekend. Stay safe out there and we'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. There's a possibility on Monday that I won't be doing the show, but uh, let's see what happens over the weekend. Take care, folks.